Welcome and welcome back to Ash Wings TV. I be wondering, man. Like, DJ Benz, DJ Benz, we mean B is going to be in the world. Of language. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, I. Ooh. Yeah, bitch, that's our shit too. Stop motherfucker playing, talking about who motherfucker took what, bitch. So all you do is steal motherfucking crabs. Oh, y'all a bunch of criminals. What? Gangsters. Wanksters. Studio flunkies. Junkies. Monkeys. Stupid ass. Bad fighters. Bad pictures. Oh, yeah. Get off me, bitch. Get off me. Stepping on crabs. What? Who give me high? All right. Let's go. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you like you gonna respect the dog. Welcome back, welcome back. It's the dog. If this is the first time at Swoop Reactions, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit follow, and comment. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So, right off the bat, you know, we have a YouTuber called S. Wiggins. Now, S. Wiggins popped on YouTube maybe about two years ago, out of nowhere, really. And, you know, as you can see, he's doing the Kev Mac Dream Foreign Model or whatever the hell. The foreign born blog style or whatever where he's just talking about a bunch of hoods that are not his own talking about all kinds of irrelevant ass shit talking about how some hoods are extinct and all that he's not sure about what he's talking about he's highly inaccurate and he's relying on some uh you know incredible uh inaccurate or you know non confirmed stories you know what I'm saying so I'm like uh you know you just saying it or having someone else say it is irrelevant you know you need to have you know receipts proof you know things of that nature like I can't stand when uh the Hoovers for example right they be talking all this shit about the Hoover Groovers all right so let's talk about hood politics it's funny because you got somebody who's running a channel called hood politics but is very far removed from her politics. Don't even know if he's a politic or not. Don't know where he's from. You know, just some goofy shit. Just, just to exploit us, you know, collectively. 384,000 subscribers to this nonsense. Just because this fool got good editing. Sounds good on mic. You know, got who knows how many people producing this shit. But, you know. It is what it is. Let's tap in and hear it, right? 11 minutes and 22 seconds on the neighborhood Crips versus the Hoovers. Somebody who is not familiar with the fucking culture, or at least familiar, but don't have it accurately, you know? So we'll, we'll, we'll dive into it. Let's not even say it. Let's not even say that this person isn't accurate. Let's not even go that far. Let's just say that this person doesn't have confirmed information or information that they could confirm they're relying on hearsay okay so let, let's 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 check it out welcome to hood politics in this episode i will be discussing welcome to hood politics who the fuck are you where the fuck are you from who are you like for real <laughs> hood politics who the fuck are you this is another swamp story another s wiggins unconfirmed people from fucking nowhere see i'm swoop from south side 30s that's where I'm from. That's who I am. You know what I'm saying? This is what it is. Let's go. It's in the war between the neighborhood Crips and the Hoovers. Mm -hmm. The facts of the case are as follows. The facts? The gang. You see that? The, the, the facts of the case is follow. All right. That's debatable. Let's go. The landscape of Los Angeles is comprised of alliances, also known as cars. For example, within the Crips, there are neighborhoods, coasts, 
gangsters, hustlers, and others. The neighborhood Crips are an alliance of gangs spread throughout South Central. The alliance consists of the Rolling 40s, the Rolling 50s, the Rolling 60s, the Rolling 90s, 111, 11 5, most East Coast Crip sets, and a host of others. All neighborhood Crip gangs feud with the Hoovers. The Hoovers have a unique history when it comes to Los Angeles gangs. The Hoovers were formed in the 1960s under the name Hoover Groovers. The Hoovers were formed in the 1960s under the name Hoover Groovers. The credibility is everything as leaders. It's the foundation of everything that we do. Our words got to be good or we've got real problems. And I believe our credibility has to be good even in the smallest ways. The Hoovers have a unique history when it comes to Los Angeles gangs. The Hoovers were formed in the 1960s under the name Hoover Groovers. Trade 4, 7-Eleven, the deuce in the nine. Hoover Hay, coach enthusiasts, people, and the collective. Man, I got an exclusive today, man. I have some originals with me, man. We had to chop it up about this under the groove process, uh, this origin thing we laying out there, man. Um, again, three G's, man. I want to start it out, man, with the one to my left. You know, sit it around, man, and let's talk about what it is we need to talk about. Yeah, Tony C. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Tony Station, known as TS. Just right quick, right quick before you start, because this is in the comments. And I swear, man, yeah. most of the dudes making, I think, is Hoover's. Saying that Hoover's, well, you know, we come from Hoover Group. I don't know, I ain't never met a Hoover Group. Saying that Hoover's, well, you know, we come from Hoover Group. I don't know, I ain't never met a Hoover Group. You know, oh, never met a Hoover Group. Never met Me either, group. never in my life. I want to put an exclamation point on that. I was hoping that when you first started in a real... The loved one who was Joe that yeah. he, that he'll uh, clear that up, yeah. but he never cleared up. But I'm gonna clear it up right now. Go ahead. Brother people accepted and rejected. Let's go. First of all, who was with, with who was Chris? We was never Hoover Groovers. See, this is this is some historical shit. People's under a misconception that the Hoover Groovers, that the Hoover Crips came from the Hoover Groovers, like the Hoover Groovers started the Hoover Crips, or uh, when when the Hoover Groovers became defunct and died out, like the Hoover Crips came from them. Mm -hmm. That ain't the case at all, man. Okay. Just like Tony Strong just said, he ain't never met a group. group. I ain't never met one in my life. They was older than us. Okay. That's a separate tribe, okay. a separate right. movement, and a separate entity from the Hoover Crips. We we were born from the Hoover Groovers. And one of the things I want to clarify, one of the misconceptions, I've been telling people this for years. It's in my book that one of the misconceptions that people got about the Hoover Crips and the Hoover Groovers think the Hoover Crips came from the Hoover Groovers. Get up to it. It's a total fabrication. But when you ask them to produce some fucking evidence that there was ever such a clique over there called Hoover Groovers, uh, you know, any of that shit that was there, they can't provide that. He is correct. The Hoovers didn't come from the damn Hoover Groovers. The original Hoovers came from the Hoover Park families. And this dude, S. Swiggins, did a video about the Hoover, uh, Hoover Family Bloods or Hoover Park Family Bloods. And, you know, that's how I found his page by, you know, doing my um, due diligence on the Hoover Park families. Real origins of the L.A. Hoovers, because if we're talking about the L.A. Hoovers, the original uh, West Side L.A. Hoovers were bloods, family bloods specifically. OK, so the Hoover Park family bloods are the original bloods and they they're the 20s now known as the 20s. But yeah, Hoover Park. Um, and the Hoover Park is on Hoover Street, so that I make the West Side Hoovers, the original West Side Hoovers, family bloods, and not Hoover Groovers or Hoover Crips. So, you know, once you actually get to the meat and potatoes of that, you know, um, the Hoovers rejecting the Crip identity was bound to happen, and, you know, the only le ones left is the five deuce Hoovers, which I think, you know, with some pressure from the rest of the Hoovers, you know, shit. Uh, the the Hoover's booted off the fucking um, the the nineties, which is the nine uh, zero neighborhood Crips. Now, you know they booted them niggas off. Uh, I think they was called like the Menlos or some shit like that. But because they were kissing the uh, the neighborhood crabs' asses, they got kicked off and put on neighborhood Crip. Now, if you don't think the fifties won't follow suit. Like, if the, if the get pressed by the Troubles, and, you know, I, you know, it, it's funny calling them the Troubles, because they, who do, who, who do they give trouble? They don't give nobody trouble. They, they shit to the French fry crabs. 
They ain't gonna do shit to them nappy head uh, crabs, none of them neighborhood crabs. They don't do shit to none of these crabs. Uh, you know, the five deuce hoovers are just a bunch of fucking uh, party crips. They don't be on shit. So, you know, the troubles, I'm like, who the fuck y'all give niggas trouble? Y'all don't get nobody trouble. Y'all a bunch of fucking, you know, tigers. As far as I'm concerned, y'all don't get nobody no trouble, blood. Bunch of uh, flamed up crabs. That's just funny. But y'all don't be on nobody ass, so I don't respect it, blood. And you got smack is the face of the troubles. Come on now. Fucking powder head is the fucking face of the troubles who don't get nobody no trouble. He in trouble who tell people he don't want no trouble. <laughs> Fuck out of here. So, yeah, that that's hilarious um, in itself. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the five deuce crabs, um, you know, they can get the boot and they be turned in the neighborhood french fry crabs or whatever the fuck. You know, since they can't, they, they're useless anyways. It's like, y'all are fucking useless. The, the five deuce Hoovers are the most useless uh, Hoover set in all the Hoovers. Like, what the fuck are they doing? Um, y'all got all this space and y'all got all this, you know, you know, things y'all could be doing. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't doing shit. What have y'all done? <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are, you know, the front line of the 50s, right? And... You got the French fry crab, crab mac been running around with at least two years with this Hoover killer on his forehead, and y'all ain't did shit about that because y'all put Crip before Hoover. <laughs> yeah, the five deuces, they don't give a fuck about Hoover Street. They they, they, they put it on Crip. They said, nigga, this Crip. They don't say this Hoover. They say this Crip. Like uh, your boy Trell did on um, No Jumper. He said, this Crip. <laughs> He said the Hoover's gonna hate on me. Some more niggas from Hoover's gonna hate on me. <laughs> and that his goofy ass ain't even from Hoover like that. This nigga's a Compton, uh, a, a nigga from Compton who claiming uh, West Side uh, Hoover Street. Fuck out of here. So yeah, you do. We do a lot of goofy buffonery out in California. Okay, so we gotta start there when we um. We're putting these dudes under a microscope. But we about to do reaction to S. Wiggins, a Compton Crab, another Compton Crab, just like Trail. Uh, and the betrayal of the Compton Crabs, okay? From the LA Crabs. We're gonna talk about that. Cause y'all know the LA Crabs don't give a fuck about a, um, a Compton Crab or any other crab outside of LA. Just like the Compton Pot Roos, they don't give a fuck about no Pot Roos outside of pot, uh, outside of Compton, really. Let's start there. So, you know. All this, y'all got, you know, um, y'all got this, y'all got that from these other niggas, right, from where they from. But I'm like, look, like, why not, you know, identify with your own situation, your own set, right? I just don't see the purpose of some some uh, bloods identifying Pyro, identifying as Pyro outside of California. It don't make no sense. Them niggas don't respect that, and they don't respect you either. So I was like... I don't care which one of them peon niggas told you it was cool and y'all kumbaya and shit. But I'm telling you, the, the, the entire jack don't respect what you jacking. Like, the entire gang don't re represent the same thing what you claiming. You know, they don't recognize or respect that or honor that. So it's like, it's more beneficial for you to, you know, get on your own and start your own shit, you know, as bloods. That just makes more sense. To all, you know, the Pyrus out there, I'm sorry to put bust your bubbles, you know what I'm saying? But listen, ain't no such thing as Pyru love, <laughs> you know? So that damn song is ridiculous because, you know, Pyru love, right, ridiculous. And the Pyrus don't have no damn love. Uh, it's blood love, okay? So we should be focused on that, you know? And um, yeah, we need a new song. We need a blood love song. We need to remix that and remix it to the remix of that, you know what I'm saying? Something. One of the homies gotta lay it down. One of us gotta do it. But I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. The Pyrus don't have no love between the Pyrus. The mob going at it with the Looters Park. Fruit Town going at it with uh, Treetop Steel. You got a lot of other Pyrus that don't fuck with the Pyrus. It's just what it is, you know? And maybe if we can't get past the Pyru nonsense, maybe we can just be blood to unify, you know? And me, I put the B before anything. You know, ain't nothing before that B though. Ain't nothing bigger than that B. Not the P, not the C, not the D, not anything on Bloods. So, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below, though. 
So, anyways, you know, um, we about to get into a video because I want y'all to see firsthand of your boy S. Wiggins uh, being challenged and exposed on his own, you know, videos. And he's going to be, you know, over and over and over apologizing and saying sorry for inaccurately portraying something and not having the facts to support it, not having um, done this due diligence, not having um, done proper research or investigation of claims being made, not doing the proper vetting, you know, just letting people get on here and run their mouths without, you know, properly fact checking them or what they're going to be saying or any of that type of stuff and not, you know, following up with like decent questions or, you know, hard questions because <clears throat> you got this friendly ass crab who's buddy buddy and, you know, he don't want to ruffle your feathers or whatever. So he can't stand on business with you because he's trying to be friendly with you. So, <clears throat> you know, and then I, I didn't uh, appreciate the whole stepping in and trying to put his put his uh put himself in between blood um you know you know you don't have no business with uh trying to enter in, introduce yourself into blood politics or what the hell we got going on as far as our issues um you can't help can't help the homies you can't save the homies you can't even help or save your own homies so why the fuck would you try to play us and act like you mediating and shit like that like that you know mm. I don't know how the Pyrus feel about that, but I'd have felt, uh, you know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, stay stay your crab ass in your own affairs. Stay the fuck out of blood business. And, um, you know, you even having that uh, back and forth with uh, the, the one homie from CPB? Ain't that what? Uh, some part Pyru blood, whatever. I don't know if he's a Pyru, but some part blood, he... He started set tripping with the weirdo gangster blood nigga. And I was just, I, you know, I didn't see the point of that. <laughs> you know, he was talking about uh, he was he wouldn't allow the homies to start up. And he was tripping on the homies talking about they couldn't start they set there. Whoop de whoop. <laughs> and clearly none of that shit worked. And the weirdos was giving it to y'all niggas over there. <laughs> you know, gave it, giving it to y'all so crucial that barely nobody even remember y'all, you know, y'all, you know, y'all fading hood, according to a lot of people said that y'all don't even exist no more. You know? <laughs> Ain't that some funny shit? You, you said chirping and talking all this shit. Meanwhile, uh, people don't forgot y'all niggas even exist. But I ain't chirping on the homies. You know, I wish CP be the best. But it's like share the hood, blood. Like, you know, you got to be a good neighbor, blood. And sharing the hood comes with that. You niggas having your little issue with the uh, weirdos is, is irrelevant, <clears throat> you know. And if you ain't going to keep that same energy with them crabs, don't try to do that shit with the homies. And I'm glad the homies served y'all niggas, including um, popping one, whoever the fuck was fucking with them. Uh, if, it, if it caused one of your homies to get smoked, the whole fucking well. So... You know, I, I say that's on you and you and your homies uh, for getting a homie smoke. You know, next time you'll uh, be more uh, empathetic with the homies. You know, if they want to start whatever the fuck they start, you let them niggas start that shit. And your homies already told your ass that those are the homies. And you kept on trying to press the issue. It sounded like they handled your ass. So it is what it is. So. Shout out to the uh, weirdo bloods out there. You know, <clears throat> we got a uh, little thing with the weirdos, 111. You know, 31st Street, three, three ones is 111. So that's what it is, blood. So we got a lot of love for the weirdos. <clears throat> um, we all consider ourselves weirdos, but we all consider ourselves bloods as well, though. So, <clears throat> you know, it ain't really a rock science on UBM. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below, though. So, you know, I'm about to play some clips for y'all, and then we'll go over them at the end of this uh, video. Y'all uh, tap in, lock in, and um, I'll see y'all at the end, end of uh, these clips. Let's uh, let's get into it. Let's uh, talk Wiggins and check out his channel and react to it. Yeah, so, so what's up with the shit you was putting online, bro? 
Respectful pussy. And I'm being and you just can't respectful do it without us. disrespect. Who we were as kids is not who we are as men. All right, all right. So y'all just heard it from S. Wiggins himself. You know this young punk, this nigga, absolving himself of any wrongdoing, right? Uh, any criticism, he feels he's above it because he absolved himself of it. Just heard, oh. He's being respectful, and he ain't disrespect nobody, and blah, blah, blah. He's saying this about himself. Of course, ain't nobody saying that besides him. You know, he's absolving himself of, of any error or any fault before the video even comes out. Before anybody has a chance to criticize it, he's already absolved himself of all wrongdoing. And I don't like that type of uh, crab-ass behavior. I don't like that sneaky-ass, hook-ass shit. Um, don't throw rocks and then hide your hand, you buster. Don't do all that type of hook-ass shit. And, um, like, we just called you out on it, you know, collectively. I think the homies finally got the fucking memo, caught the hint, you know what I'm saying? Especially after that, uh, you talking about how the pie root, the, the Crips made the bloods and all this shit because some crab was singing he wanted to be a pie on pie love. Like, get the fuck out of here. And then, you know, we could really talk about your you know nonsense that you've been projecting uh when we talk about rod dog and the center park blood nigga spud that you brought on your channel you pushing division between the homies you instigating beef between the homies how you gonna interview <clears throat> one homie and then bring up his alleged op like, and then, you know, I noticed what you was asking in those videos. Like, I got to do a whole video just on that. About how this funky-ass Compton Crab online instigating beef between the homies. You know what I'm saying? And, and the homies is shouting you out for instigating beef with the other homies. It's like, like, you know, everybody involved 
uh, need they ass whooped, need a DP. I ain't gonna front. Y'all need to get tuned up. Cause how dare y'all allow this Compton crab to how y'all niggas and y'all feelings are about to get at it online, having back and forth with each other. This nigga, whatever weirdo blood that that the homie was or whatever, pulling up over at the center park bloods shit. <laughs> you know, talking a little talking a little spicy, you know what I'm saying? I don't think he said anything particularly wrong. You know, he just said like, oh yeah, the homies, we from over here. You know, he kind of took a little pop shot at the uh, center part uh, blood niggas saying that, oh, this is weirdo part. As far as I know, ain't no damn such thing as weirdo's part. But there should be many parks around you niggas. Everybody should be able to share. Everybody should be able to respect, you know, you know, they, they space or whatever. Everybody should have some space. Y'all should be able to make moves or, you know, even expand, you know. And um, the 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 nut the nut shit about to me about the Inglewood, right, is y'all got crab ops now. Like, I remember back in the 90s and the 80s, right, Inglewood was kind of like what Long Beach is to the crabs. Like, it was just like a no-fly zone for any opposition or enemies. It's kind of a safe haven for all the homies at one point. But now you see the bloods going at it with each other. You got the Inglewood families going at it with, you know, what, 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 I think they were going at it with the Parus. Of course, it's always the Parus, right? It's the Parus, the Parus. <laughs> we always having to get into it with the fucking Parus. So the neighborhood Parus and the Inglewood families, I think, were going at it real hard at one point. And then so you got the Inglewood families going at it with the neighborhood Parus. And then you got the motherfucking, or was it Queen Street going at it with the neighborhood of power? It was one of the fucking two. And then you had uh, the Center Park Bloods going at it with the Weirdo Gangster Bloods. And the Weirdo Gangsters is going to try to push the line against the homies, telling them that they couldn't do their thing over there. But y'all wasn't pushing the motherfucking crabs that were invading y'all shit. Y'all wasn't doing that to them Tongan crabs. Or to them legend crabs, legend has it that they still over there. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear shit from no Inglewood blood and tell them my fucking content. Well, tell them, uh, them, them fucking that crab invasion stops. <laughs> Y'all yeah, niggas even have a Snoop. The Snoop Dogg story fucking is over in Inglewood. What the fuck Snoop Dogg thinking with his dumb ass? The, put a fucking store over there, like. Fuck out of here. This store been gone in less than 24 hours. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Um, yeah, it's just ridiculous, you know. And you got a Compton Crab who was instigating that beef. And the homies called it out. I think that's why he took the video down or he at least hid the video because he put up there a video of the homies going over there. And I'm going to play that video. Let y'all see it for yourselves. All right, guys. So I lost the video. The dude made the video private or deleted it. So I cannot give y'all the footage or show y'all the footage or let y'all react to the footage. The footage is gone. Y'all gonna have to reach out to S. Wiggins and tell his uh, bitch ass to stand on the content that he pushes out. Since he wanna, uh, you know, instigate beef like that, tell his ass to stand on that shit. See, that's the thing. When, when you do little buster ass shit and then the homies start catching, they, catching your drift, you know, and seeing, smelling, smelling what you selling, you know what I'm saying? And really uh, putting two, two together. You feel me? <laughs> uh, the, you know, the, the that crab obviously feel like maybe it's too much pressure. Maybe, you know, he might lose all his Damu support, you know, which it will, will end up being, you know, negative for him, you know, on the back end because he has to use blood hoods. For his bottom line, because don't nobody give a fuck about what the crabs do. Don't nobody give a fuck about the or origins of the crabs. We don't give a fine fuck. Uh, everybody's more interested in what's going on in our fucking neighborhoods and what the hell we got going on, who we piecing up with, and all the other shit. So that's why y'all have to involve yourselves in what the fuck we got going on. See, we don't give a fuck about what the fuck y'all giving uh, going on, but you know. Uh, we sh we should be able to address y'all because unlike uh, unlike y'all um, 
Parus are the ones that created the Crips, not the other way around. The Parus were out before the Crips, not the other way around. So y'all didn't create a goddamn thing. Y'all didn't even create Crip. Raymond Washington didn't even create the fucking word Crip. That nigga started the Baby Avenues from the Baby Crib because he got slapped and ran up in the crib with Jamel Barnes by Craig Munson and the baby in, in the in the older avenues. Let's just say that. But, but yeah, your, your boy Raymond Washington was a false claimer who got slapped up in the house. And he and Jamel Barnes created the baby avenues because they wanted to be a part of their own shit because they got rejected by Craig Munson in the avenues. <laughs> That's what it was. So your, your, your big homies are reject. Your big homies are dropout. And that's why them crabs slaughtered his ass. Okay? <laughs> the crabs slaughtered his ass eventually. That's why, uh, you know, that, that that's another thing I got issue with. I'm like, well, you putting all these internal beefs and shit like that, but you, you don't want to um, put up the, the internal beef where your founder got his ass blasted by his own homies. We, you know, we could talk about that. But y'all want to talk about that. Y'all about to talk about Nappy Hustle and the rest of the other. Uh, and, and you rather talk about our shit. Like, you ran your mouth about Be Brazy based on some baseless accusations from fucking Snoopy Crabass. You're going to take Snoopy Crabass fucking um, you know, a little issue he had with the other homie from um, Brems or whatever the fuck. You're going to take their little issue and run with it. And take some uh, philanderous fucking word salad bullshit that hasn't been confirmed. Like y'all running around, you running around. Matter of fact, let me not say y'all, but you specifically, you and Snoopy Crabass, y'all ran around with this narrative that B. Brazy was killed by a UBN nigga and all this shit and some internal. Yeah, you and the rest of these hook ass niggas ain't got no goddamn evidence of that. So why the fuck are you going around regurgitating that? But you don't want to, you know, uh, go over your own hoods in fighting. You don't want to go over your founder of your gangs in fighting. You don't want to touch on that subject. But you rather air our business out for your own monetary gain. Today we're going to be discussing the hoods that used to be other hoods of different colors and maybe even used to be enemy turf or you, you'll get what I'm talking about. Come on, kid. Let's go, man. Did you know the center view par rules was Cribs? No, <laughs> we don't know that. Y'all gonna hate me for this one, man, but hey, I got to keep it real, man. All right, so you see what he has on screen? He got center view par rules. Does he have any evidence to support that center view was ever Cribs? No. But he just says it casually. Let's hear it. Hey, what can I say? The center view par rules was originally the, the 169 Street boys out in Carson. 169 Street is one of the main streets that ran through their hood. But it's also known that at one point, they was known as the center view cribs back in the 1970s. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? One point... They was down to the center view cribs back in the 1970s. It do not matter. Now, was it the whole hood? That's undisputed, but I did. And wh where are you getting that information from? Where do you have any proof of that? Here that the walnut side of center view was crypt and they hood was you know kind of divided you know one side was you know claiming crypt the other side was turning paw rules allegedly the west side paw rules came over there and gave them a start you know to push paw rule paw rule identity over there that's what i heard man hey bro come on now dog come on man and i know y'all gonna be like well all right you gonna do that when we what about uh, what about track dude, man? What about uh, what about the the other hoods that used to be Paul Rue and Compton Chris? Hey, this my show. We ain't talk about that. We talk. Yeah, of course you don't want to talk about that. Because all the goddamn Compton Crips used to be Pyrus. All them Compton Crab sets used to be Pyrus sets. Because ain't no damn, uh, ain't no goddamn such thing as a fucking Compton Crab. Compton Crabs are irrelevant as fuck. 
the Crip identity comes from L.A. It's an L.A. gang. It's not a Compton gang. And that's how the L.A. Crips feel about y'all Compton lames. They're like, what the fuck is a Compton crab? Fuck is a Compton Rick Rock anyway, nigga. I'm 6 Crip, nigga. you can see that by how they deal with the face of the Compton crabs. Uh, Compton Rick Rock. Compton Rick Rock used to hoe, cuz on the dead on me, On the hood, nigga. So. Compton Rick Rock. Don't get no goddamn respect. <laughs> you don't get no goddamn respect. He the face of the Compton Crabs right now. If y'all like, if if y'all like it or not, it don't matter. He the face of the Compton Crabs. Who else do y'all know from over in the Compton Crabs that are active? Easy dead, Coolio dead. So you know the face of the Crabs is Compton Rick Rock. <laughs> you could probably even put a uh, Tranny Loke on there. Tranny Loke on there. You know Tranny Loke. Running around looking like uh, looking like T. S. Madison and shit like that. <laughs> and she she represents the neighborhood Compton crabs who wear orange and flu, who snoring and flu. Okay, they wear snoring and flu, and um, the neighborhood Crips don't fuck with them either. Like that, come on now, cause they cause the neighborhood Crips are at it with niggas in orange and flu. Okay, names Hoover's. So why the fuck with the Compton crabs? adopt the snoover colors i just don't and they don't ever explain why it's like why the fuck is the compton crabs running around wearing orange and flu like what the fuck that don't make no damn sense to me and you know why i got crab mac on the screen now y'all know crab mac is going at it with the hoovers now you know he considers the hoovers the biggest threat to the neighborhood crips and I agree, <laughs> okay? The uh, Hoovers are wiping out the neighborhood Crips. And this isn't, you know, uh, hearsay necessarily because we have, you know, accounts and, you know, we have historians and, you know, collective bloggers and, and other, you know, street uh, enthusiasts, I would call them, <laughs> and, uh, you know, things of that nature like Swiggins TV. He going out here, he's talking to some of these uh, alleged members. They're saying a whole bunch of uh, nonsense online. So I, I think it's fun to go over those interviews and fact check them and, you know, see what's accurate and what's not accurate. And, you know, and just listen to these uh, peons who, you know, don't stand on nothing. These friendly ass crabs or friendly ass lobsters who don't, you know, ask any hard hitting questions because look here, uh. I would be asking a lot of different questions for if I was behind these uh, interviews or interrogations or whatever y'all want to call them. But like, like as far as like for the homie's sake, um, I don't know. I just don't like it when the crabs and like get involved in blood business or blood conflict or or want to say what the bloods is doing and shit like that. It's like keep us out your mouths. Like we not we not homies. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like y'all niggas want to be our homies so bad. It's like, but we not homies. Y'all some uh, backdoor and ass crabs, and I don't trust y'all. And why would I, like, first off, they act like we got to respect the crabs and we got to be frame friendly with the crab gang. I'm not, <laughs> fuck the crab gang. I might have some homeboys that are fake crip wannabes, but even they know that they uh, gang is lame and that they gang will backdoor them. Uh, if you are a crip, that is a rip, okay? <laughs> you, uh, you know what crip stand for, fool? Uh, crab, rest, and piss. <laughs> what the fuck crip stand for? Crab, rest, and piss, cuz. Don't stand for no community revolution in progress. That's some shit that the New York crabs invented in the 90s. And, and y'all don't even recognize them as crips because they ain't from California or L.A. So y'all treat them like, fuck y'all. What the fuck? And they invented the, the entire shit y'all jack. And that y'all push in L.A. now, at least them young niggas, because they want to sound like they, they they down for the hood and they love their community all to perpetrate for finances like Crab Mac. That's what Crab Mac is. He's a perpetrator. He's a liar. He's a fa-fa fiend. OK, and he not only he's a liar, but his entire Crab network of liars, you know, like ODM Slim, who he publicly called a liar. So if ODM's assume a liar, you hang out with ODM Slim, that would make you a liar and a broke custer as well. Like everything that dude projected on ODM Slim is really what Potato Head Trevor is as well. And all the rest of them that hang out together, these are all, that's all their characteristics. Lies, perpetrating, hood hopping, flip flopping, you know, uh, 
<laughs> fucking custers, <laughs> fucking crabs, you know, who are, are nothing but back uh, backstabbers. That's what they are, backdoors and backstabbers. Especially a Compton crab. Let's hear the Compton crabs were claiming neighborhood gangster crap at one point. They were NHGC, okay? And um, some of them might still be claiming gangster crab. Now, that's another thing that LA, like these LA and Compton niggas are two different gangs. They're, they're very much two different gangs. They just share the name neighborhood. And I don't ever think them niggas wear uh, NY uh, apparel. They don't even wear no Yankee shit, okay? So. You got the uh, the neighbors who are not really neighbors like that. <laughs> they're wearing, you know, they they they're gangster crips, but they claim a neighborhood. See, that's the thing. The the gangster crips don't give a flying fucking about our neighborhood. Y'all know that. They eight, eight trays are killing them fucking uh, neighborhood crabs to fuck up. <laughs> nap, pass me the nap. <laughs> Soft ass naps. Dumbass nigga dead homie. What the fuck you talking about? Nigga come crib. Shut up. Nigga don't ever run to the back. Dumbass nigga. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. Since this muff, this hook ass crab, he'll, he'll talk about your hood, but he don't want to talk about his own hood. He'll talk about y'all internal beef, but he don't want to talk about his own hood's internal beef. Okay? And if he does, he's not going to give you any goddamn references. Ain't going to give you no. No, uh, nothing to, you know, verify where the fuck his goofy ass is talking about. Let's keep on going. I'm sick. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is, man. Just... Uh, it's not what it is. Uh, anyways. <clears throat> so, let's, let's read what, uh, goofy crab ass shit he talk about. So, wrote this. Hey, hood, stop apologizing. Be confident in your knowledge. How, how's he confident in his knowledge? And he not confident in his knowledge because he ain't got no fucking knowledge. He using third party, uh, you know, third party delusions and putting that in as factual information on this platform until somebody calls him out on it. Until enough people say, S. Wiggins, um, we're going to stop listening to your fucking inaccurate ass videos because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, look, look here. I'm putting it here and let's talk about yo hood <laughs> flip flopper from blood to crab. <laughs> All cop to hoods are proper. That's true. So, yeah, I ain't getting no likes from that, you know, in this comment section yet. It's an old video, so, you know. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna expect motherfuckers to like really peep on my, my comment yet. Uh, let's talk about this. So Lance Hannah Block, Compton Crip, Kelly Park, Compton Crip, and Track New Compton Crip all started as Pyro's, then flipped to CC. Uh, that's why they have uh, uh, some so many enemies or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, all of them switch for Pyro's because they no fucking such thing as a Compton Crab. Comp to crab ain't shit, but a, a power reject. That's that's pretty much what it is. All the comp to crabs are power rejects. Um, the Brims was the biggest gang in L.A. at one time. Uh, I don't know about all that, but whatever. Um, let's keep on going. And plus, that's irrelevant to this fucking video. All right, so th this is what this user put on here. That's not true. I'm born, uh, born, made, and raised. This nigga said maid like a cleaning maid. Full the maid you're trying to write is M A D E. Maid. You wrote M A I D. Fucking idiot. <laughs> it's fucking dumbest thing I've I've read all day. Born maid. <laughs> uh, all right. So you were uh, born and raised in Centerview, and it used to be Centerview. Automator. Uh, automator. <laughs> uh, I was born in 1969, and my uncle Alvin Hicks was one of the OGs. And before him, it was Triple Triple G Blackbird. This is coming from Poncho, uh, OG Nine Boy. Okay. And then some fucking idiot wrote, Nah, some of y'all did used to bang Centerview Crips. How the fuck do you know that? How the fuck do you know that? You ain't got no goddamn, um, you ain't got no damn records of that. You ain't got no proof of that. 
Uh, as Wiggins responded to this, he put, so put that on pyro, some of y'all. Hood wasn't crippin'. I got receipts. No disrespect, though. If you had the receipts, Wiggins, why wouldn't you put it in the video that you're making, making these claims about center, uh, center view pyros? Uh, why wouldn't you put that in the video? But instead of putting that in the video, you put, you know, everything else but that in the video. <laughs> Your receipts. Like, what receipts do you have? To prove center view, we're calling themselves center view crips. You know, I, I'm just saying, like, you you put that out. And I'm not even disputing that. What I'm saying is you have no evidence of that. So, I'm not going to accept that as true for or any of that. What I call that is a crab delusion. Okay? In the crab's mind, y'all are y'all y'all the reason why the bloods exist. In the the delusional crab mind, you know, after these uh, Kev Mack interviews come out and all these other lying ass, perpetrating ass crab narratives come out, y'all motherfuckers uh, run around talking about y'all made us. Like like, listen, this dude S Wiggins did a video, just did a video talking about the Crips made us because. The Parus let a crab sing Paru Love. The Paru Love course. This goofy ass hook ass nigga S. Wiggins gonna put in his video the Crips made the Parus. I was like, what the fuck? You need to slap yourself real hard, like extremely hard. Cause what the fuck? Where where do you get off with that? It's delusion. That's what I'm saying. This dude is very delusional. He puts nothing but misinformation out. Just like his homies, uh, the 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 Kev Rat, you know, the 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 Muffo going around talking about yo stealing content. How is this not stealing content? He going around or, or even stealing stories or, you know, manufacturing stories to get clicks and views, and he doesn't have not a shred of evidence to prove none of the shit he's saying. All he's doing is putting misinformation out there. And information that has no sense of credibility or reliability, any of that stuff. It just it doesn't check none of these boxes. So why, why is it here? Oh, it's it's here for monetary gain from a lame who runs his mouth, some young punk. So you know, I'm just saying. But it's, it's very funny that he could get so-called bloods to get up on here on his channel. I don't know if they're getting paid. I doubt that they're getting paid because this dude, he, he, he's already said that he's a broke custer. He don't got no goddamn money. He tried to have me call. I'm I'm not getting on the phone with you for what? <laughs> what the fuck am I getting on? The, are you paying me? Hey, you better pay me or don't pay me attention. Um... You know, I'll say what I have to say on a video and, you know, YouTube will pay me eventually. You know, after enough people look your fraud ass up and see that, you know, all you do is spread out misinformation and none of your information is reliable and none of it checks out. <laughs> all right. If you actually do any type of an investigation, you will find out that all your information is invalid and it's not credible. OK, so not reliable, not credible, doesn't pan out, doesn't check out. So let, let, let's keep that, you know, there and let's dive a little bit deeper here because uh, we got we going to check another video of where you were giving out misinformation and you made a video because obviously, you know, your audience is like, what the fuck? This dude's unreliable, uncredible. And he keeps on putting out information that doesn't check out or pan out. So he's going to apologize for doing that. And, of course, it's going to be a blood hood. He done spoke on and put some bullshit on the set. So let's hear it. What's up? S. Wig is here. Somebody showed me this, man. And, uh, this is in the, uh, the blood blank in the Crip blank documentary. Okay. Watch this. Crenshaw Mafia. Okay. Don Don Mafia. Okay. For sure. For sure. Bounty Hunters. Okay. That's what's up. ETGs. Look. Boom. Right there. I mean, plain sight. 
You know? <clears throat> that, that I feel like this is where all the confusion probably came from, bro. <clears throat> tag uh, Munchy B. Tag uh, Frank the YA baby, man. You know, I'm, I'm just here to clear my name, you know, so... You could clearly see I'm not the only one that heard this false information. You know, I heard it from somebody reputable that told me this, bro. So, you know, and I apologize if I kind of jumped the gun and just taking somebody's word for it. I didn't make it up. You feel me? So I just wanted to clear my name, man. Nothing serious, bro. Shouts out to the CPS. Shouts out to the whole Eaglewood families, bro. No hate in my blood, bro. You know what I mean? I say it was most likely an error on the producer's part, like the editors or whatever. And you got to think, this looked like it came out in like 95, and I'm born in 1993, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was probably a typo, you know, to my understanding, you know, I would assume. So, yeah, we all make mistakes, bro. Yeah, so shouts out to the Eaglewood Bloods. No bad intentions whatsoever. I did it for the city. Wiggins! So that folk club, y'all niggas running around here talking about we neighborhood crips? That shit is fake. Neighborhood crips? That shit is fake. Neighborhood crips? That shit is fake. Odium Slim lied about everything. <laughs> All right, so as y'all can see, you know, this S. Wiggins isn't reliable, it's not credible. You know, he's running around glazing, you know, glizzy goblin. He's gobbling up the glizzy of the odium snitch, oh, dirty musty. He going around talking to this fried ass fry. And he calling him a legendary nigga from 5-7 and he ain't no regular crip. He is super crip and all this other shit. And that is not the fucking truth. <laughs> you don't have not one shred of evidence of that. So why would you make a video, an eight minute video, glazing a West Side crab from Neighborhood Crip? You... Are Compton Crab, okay? You are Compton Crab wannabe, matter of fact, or something like that. You ain't even from Compton like that. You ain't from LA either. But you, you decided to do all this extra shit, blood. And you gonna put ODM Snitch up there, like he's some, like he's somebody talking about he let hey, legendary lame. Even his own homeboys know this. From Brick Baby to C Mac uh, to even Lupe, they all done dissed him publicly. And none of them call him C Bop. They all call him ODM Slim. So, what the fuck is the purpose of you making this crab ass video? And this is the video that kind of broke the camel's back with, with me and your channel. I was like, what the fuck? Talking about no fried ass fry, no hood hopping ass fries. Listen here, the, the French fries weren't even neighbor, they just became neighborhood crip. Them niggas used to be. Uh, Hustler Crip, uh, Five Five Hustler Crips, or some shit like that. Them niggas wasn't even a neighborhood at all. They them niggas just became neighborhood crabs. And then on top of that, right, you got uh, Hood Hopping Trevor Potato Head. This nigga done claimed four five different hoods. And you talking to fucking um, ODM Snitch, a known rat, someone who's a self admitted rat, somebody that got booked. Uh, with a blower, driving driving dirty, on parole, and gets out literally the next day. And he a broke, dirty, musty crab. How the fuck you get out the next day? Yeah, I know how you get out the next day. You gotta be working, fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, S. Wiggins, how about you go find... Um, ODM Slim's little brother, where the fuck he at? I think that dude, I think ODM uh, set that dude up and sent that dude up north. Okay? So, I'm just telling y'all. Go go interview that dude that was with ODM Slim when he got when he got pulled over for that parole. And go look up that case. You know, since you don't, you don't want to look up no cases. But I don't worry, I got the cases for ODM Slim. Um, you know? I got some of his prior prior cases, 
They're online. I found a lot of them. And uh, you know what? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, y'all. Ugh. All right. Y'all know what he's been found guilty of? Beating his old lady. Uh, selling dope. Um, being caught with firearms and shit like that. He has all those type of criminal charges. So he's already, uh, uh, you know, a known gang member, a known, uh, you know, uh, a violent felon and all that shit. You get caught on parole, dirty, on live, my guy, and you get out the next day. How's that supposed to play out? Y'all think we just, we just some fucking idiots? No, no, no. I know how that play out. And I know who you've been playing ball with. Everybody knows. And you have admitted this. So, you know, there you go for that so-called legendary crab from 5-7 Nap. And you got him all in the video. See, you don't replay what he's saying. Uh, his actual video, what he's saying, he's talking about what he would have did if he was in brick baby shoes. And if uh, if if D.W. Lame called him a nap, he would have did this and that. No, the fuck you wouldn't have, Buster. You would have gave him a fucking nap, too. You would have reached in your pocket and pulled your nap ass pack out and, and gave him uh, one of them naps to, to smoke right in your face. Now you smoking on naps. So let's stop acting dumb. And um, you goofy ass, uh, hook ass niggas, man. Uh, even it was another video I had to go over, correct us some more information, right? Of yours, because uh, you keep on calling the Harlem 30s rolling 30s, and yeah, I think a few of them was calling themselves rolling 30s at one point, but them niggas ain't rolling nothing. Them niggas ain't they, they rejected the, the, the neighborhood identity and they rejected being rolling. You know why? Because the neighborhood bloods was the first ones to be neighbors and they were the first ones to be rolling. So, of course, why the fuck would they be identifying as neighborhood crips when that's the neighborhood blood identity? And they know that. That's why they reject it. <laughs> but y'all still want to say, oh, but they're but they're 30s and we're the 40s and we're the O's. So y'all got like y'all, now y'all saying 30s to the hundreds and all this shit. And how's the 30s to the hundreds when the fucking funkies don't fuck with the th- 30s like that? And the funkies also don't fuck with the six O's like that. So how the fuck is y'all like all buddy, buddy, kumbaya and shit? Like y'all might as well join up with the NAC. Y'all might as well be some fucking neighborhood naps. Y'all could be the dirt tramps. That's what y'all could be. The dirt nap tramps. Fuck out of here. Give a fuck about no dirty ass uh, hooker crabs. That's what the AC stands for. Hooker crab. Now. Yeah, talking about some rolling 30s. Y'all niggas ain't rolling 30s. The only rolling 30s is the rolling 30 Pyrus and the rolling 30 Bloods. That's the only niggas who really rolling and who started the rolling, bitch. Y'all motherfuckers adopted it and y'all jacked it um, to get away from the gangster crip identity that's on y'all ass to this day. So, y'all don't want me to get uh, spicy. We talking about that shit because it's the truth, you bitch. So let's start there. If you want to have a history lesson, we could I could we could really pull up some receipts. But anyways, uh, I done went over way over on what I was planning on going. So I'm gonna wrap up this video and I might have a part two if this, uh, you know, weak ass Wiggins, <laughs> you want to uh, pop it like I'm, you know, not on my shit. Bitch, it uh, will get all that to a goofy ass. Stay your bitch ass out the way. Yeah, like you been doing <laughs> in my spud voice. So, just continue to stay out the way, man. That's the best thing I can tell you. Continue to stay out the way like y'all been doing. First things first, the song, Paru Love. One of my wig splitters told me, hey, Wiggins, you know the song, Paru Love, by the Parus, you feel me, off the blood and Crips banging on wax. You know it's a Crip singing on the hook, right? On the chorus? I said, what? At first, I was pissed, man. Because you feel me? I'm like, because they told me it was Folk Clips. You feel me? From Kelly Park, man. Shout out to Folk Clips. Shout out to the Kellys, man. Kelly Way, like y'all be saying, man. Feel me? Much love and all that. But at first, I was mad, man. Like, come on, man. I, I, I mean, we don't get along. Why, why is a Crip singing? But then I thought about it. We made y'all. Yo, what the fuck? Did, what did you just say? 
We made y'all. You, that's y'all go-to song. That's y'all. That's the Paru anthem. You feel me? So, how does it feel to know that a Crip made y'all? You feel me? I know it. I know it must taste like when you sing that mother. <laughs> What? So I'm gonna ruin it for you, man. A crip has something to do with the Paru love anthem, man. What? We made y'all. Now what? We made y'all. Now what? Right? Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm talking trash, man. But you know, this is just just a little something. Did you know that? I had no idea until. Uh, my boy told me in the comment section, man. Oh, I, I had no idea. I never really listened to that song, believe it or not. Boy, if you don't. That's all Custer shit. Let's give it 50 fish. It's Custer shit, yeah. Shout out to XXX Swoop. Because at least he's fucking entertaining. The other two fucking goofies, they're not. Bro, they're not gonna fucking make it, bro.